Hey, my name is Michael, and this is a quick video on how I did it. So previously, earlier, I already created a page, and uh, this is the uh, output. So I'm going to recreate it again. It's I installed it in my local machine, in my local environment. So let's create a new page. So this website is is, is installed with the uh, Jupyter X, and uh, I got this thing from my previous project. Let's change the name, title, come on. Yes, page layout is yes, I, I think it's uh, canvas. So the full canvas, uh, with the full canvas, no header and footers are assigned. So let's make the top triangle intersection. Let's read the row. We have the row, and let's use shape divider. Spider. This is it. If I got it correct, I type from uh... oh, sorry. We need a shape divider, so it's under the style. There you go. Arrow, let's use arrow, and I believe there it is. 300 and the height as I inspected before was 37. Let me let me just copy and paste the uh, style 37 color. We have the triangle, and the next section is the H2. It's just this heading. And in the space of our experts. Let's reduce. We have H2. So, align center. For the typography, um, let's use it to set as for the secondary. Text color secondary. I already set this one, but uh, from this screenshot, I think this is color block. So let's change it to block to black. There you go. The next section is the white. So the uh, white line. White line is supposed to be another divider. Perhaps we can use this one. Uh, 
needs 70% alignment center and the color is white I think now for the background color the sections background color is F to F for F7 so let's add some background color F2, F4, F7 where we hide the next section this one is the image so I'm going to add an intersection this intersection should be the set as three columns and going to upload an image this is the image oh sorry mm -hmm. We need the button. I think it's the JS. Let's remove this one. Agricultural. Let's change the label agricultural and let us remove the button background type transparent the color is white and the hover is color over Change the text, change it, change the text color. color. And align it to the center. The hover effect is color white. Oops, I'm sorry. Same here. Over. Swipe. Oh, I think that the typography is um, from here. This is Times New Roman. And there you are. Auto. One size is, I guess, plus twenty four. Make sure we have the same font size.
uh, for the background and uh, we need to select the column and upload the background image we have the background image and uh, I think I'm getting the background color. This is the background color that was set from the example. And we need to apply an overlay. Overlay is black. Black. Okay, so we use 0 0.1. It's at a specific height too. So I want to add height. the height and the height is 180 pixels with 100 percent 180 the width is 100 percent and we need to remove the padding Zero. Very well. So I will, we would like to apply a hover effect for the background overlay. Hover its color white. I think I said that my FFFCC point ninety five point ninety five. Colors zero 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 three. There we go. Let's over back. There we have it. By the way. Uh, for the responsive view, I would like to set this column to fifty percent, and this oh, yeah. So we have 50% column on iPad. Oh, my tablet is zero. So let's look at the preview.
Okay, I got better on text color. Yeah. Let's see. Text color version. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's give it the party eighty eighty. So the let's say the party eighty eighty. And uh, what? Oh, is the best stuff. Zero. Happy. There we have it. The H2 tag, the arrow down, the image with overlay. Thank you.